Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to be covering the very basics of differentiation and that is how to use the formula to find the first derivative or commonly known as dy dx. So stay tuned. Before I get on with the lesson, if you do enjoy educational content like this, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. I will produce at least one video a week. And if you do find this video useful, you're learning something, please do me a favor and hit that like button. Let's get on with the lesson. Let's say y was equals to ax to the power of n. Now, when we apply the formula dy dx, dy dx would simply be, we take the power, which is n, and multiply the whole term with the power. So this would become n multiplied into ax to the power of, now we take the power n and minus 1 from the power. Now how would this look like if we had y is equals to 14x square. So if y is equals to 14x square, when we apply the formula to get dy dx, which is the first derivative, dy dx will equals to, we just take the power and we multiply this whole term by the power. So this will be 2 times 14x and then 2, the power itself, we subtract 1. So this will be equals to 28 x to the power of 1, which of course we would simply write as 28x. And it's as simple as that. This is how we apply the formula. So let's look at various other scenarios. Let's say we had y is equals to just a constant, just a number. y is equals to 5. So now if we wanted to find dy dx, dy dx. So if we wanted to apply the formula here, we have to remember dy dx means that we are differentiating y with respect to x. So since there's no x term here, we cannot apply the formula yet. However, this is also equals to 5 times 1. Now 5 times 1 can also be written as 5 x to the power of 0 because anything to the power of 0 is 1. So if we take this as y is equals to 5x to the power of 0, now we can apply the formula because we are differentiating with respect to x. We have an x term here. You take the power and multiply the whole term by the power. This will give us 0 times 5x. So we will get 0 subtract 1 minus 1 and this will simply give us 0 because 0 multiplied by anything is just 0. So when we have y is equals to a number, you find dy dx, it will simply be 0. It doesn't matter what the number is because whatever the number is, we will be multiplying with 0. Now, what if there was more than one term? So let's say we had y is equals to 5x cubed plus 4x squared. Now, in this case, if we wanted to find dy dx and apply the formula, so dy dx, dy dx will be equals to, now we can apply the formula the same way, separately. That means we treat each term separately. So let's say we look at the first term first, 5x cubed. So we take the power, which is 3, multiply the whole term by the power. So this will give us 3 multiplied by 5x. So when we minus 1 from 3, we get 2. 3, 5x squared, plus here we take the power and multiply 4x with the power. So you will get 2 times 4x and when we take away 1 from 2, we will simply get 1. So this will be equals to 15x square plus 
x. Now, what if x was in the denominator instead of the numerator? So, for example, let's say we had y is equals to 12 over x to the power of 5. Now, when we want to find dy dx here, when we differentiate y with respect to x, we cannot use the formula directly because when we use the formula, this formula only applies to x terms that are in the numerator. They cannot be in the denominator. So all we have to do is write this in a form where x is in the numerator. So this will be equals to 12x to the power of negative 5. So now x is a numerator and we can use the formula. We do the same thing. This time we bring negative 5 and multiply the whole term by negative 5. So this will be equals to negative 5. 12x to the power of negative 5 minus 1. Again, we subtract 1 from the original power. So this will be equals to negative 60x to the power of negative 6, which can also be written as negative 60 over x to the power of 6. Now, what if we had y as factors? So for example, Let's say we had y is equals to x plus 1 and x plus 2. So if we still wanted to apply the formula, it is possible. But not when y is written as factors like this. What we have to do is, we have to expand the brackets. So you will get y is equals to x squared plus 3x plus 2. Now that we have each x term individually, then we can do dy dx using the formula. So just as we did before, dy dx will be equals to, apply the formula individually. So we bring the 2 to the front, this will be 2x1 to the power of 1 plus 3x here, x is to the power of 1. So we just multiply by 1. So you will get 1 times 3x to the power of 0. 1 minus 1, we get 0. And then plus, so as we did earlier, when you differentiate a number, a constant, then you will get 0, plus 0. So this will equals to 2x plus 3, because x to the power of 0 is simply 1. Now, this is the answer. We can also apply the formula when we don't have y in terms of x. So let's say we didn't have an equation and we just had an expression. For example, let's say we had 2k squared multiplied by 5 minus 9k. Now what if I wanted to find the first derivative of this expression? So what we can do is, we can find the differentiate this expression with respect to k. So this is what it means. So we're differentiating this whole expression. dk means with respect to k. So now we apply the formula, but this time it will be 2k. So this would equals to, we just do the same thing as we've been doing all along. So before we start with differentiation, we should expand the bracket so that we get individual terms. Then they are easier to deal with. So this will be equals to differentiation of with respect to k of multiply in we get 2k squared times 5 and plus 2k squared times negative 9k. So this will simply give us equals to differentiation with respect to k of 10k square minus 18k cube. Now we have two terms. Now we can apply the formula separately. So this will equals to, as always, this power multiply the whole term. So this will be 2 times 10k 
Now, 2 minus 1, we get k to the power of 1. And this minus, do the same thing again. This power, we will multiply the whole term. So, this is 3 and 18k, 3 minus 1 will simply be 2. So, here we will have 20k minus 54k square. This is so we can apply the formula even when we don't have y in terms of x. Even if you simply have an expression, you can still use the same formula. We can also apply the formula when we are given fx. So let's say f of x is equals to 3 over x to the power of 4 plus 2 over x squared. So how do we do this? First, we make x as a numerator, so we write it as 3x to the power of negative 4 plus 2x to the power of negative 2. So here, when we find the first derivative of fx, we will write it as f prime x, like this. This is exactly the same meaning as dy dx if we had y in terms of x. So f prime x is the first derivative when we have fx. So this will be equals to, we apply the same formula, negative 4, multiply the whole term by negative 4, this will be 3x to the power of negative 5, and then we add with, we take negative 2, and we multiply the whole term with negative 2, so we have negative 2 times 2x, so negative 2 minus 1, we get negative 3. Now we just have to simplify this. So we get negative 12x to the power of negative 5 minus 4x to the power of negative 3. This can be written as negative 12 over x to the power of 5 minus 4 over x to the power of 3. I hope you've learned something from this video. If you have, please don't forget to hit that like button. So YouTube knows this is a good video and YouTube will continue showing it to others as well. And if you like content like this, please do subscribe. I'll be producing at least one video a week. If you want daily short lessons and if you want to try short quizzes, then you can follow me on TikTok and Instagram. My handles are in the corner. I'll see you in the next video.